the most requested features is stem separation, which is now on the new Machine 3.0. You can also now use MP3s, WAVs, FLAC, and OGG files. So you can now split audio into four, vocals, drums, bass, and other, allowing you to have endless options for sampling and remixing. So I have this collection of music here for educational purposes. We can take anything like this, Aaliyah come over, drag it into a blank area, and it'll create its own slot. So we have it here. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit shift mute to choke it to, to cut off the audio. But essentially what we're gonna do here on the computer, I'm gonna hit this option here, hit edit, and then we have the option here down below to hit stems. Here on the machine hardware, under sampling, hit edit, and then you're gonna toggle all the way to where it says stems. And then you hit apply. So as you see, there is gonna be a percentage. You can continue to do other things while this is loading. And when this is complete, it's gonna create another drum kit with four separate stems, the drums, the vocals, the bass, and other. Okay, now I have a group here with my samples of my drums. A tip is to highlight all of them at the same time. Go to sound, go to polyphony, and turn them to one. So if you do press one of them over and over, they're not gonna overlap. You, you're, they're just gonna play one at a time. So I have the vocals here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have other, just the instruments. So now that we have this song as a whole, and then we have it separated, we have the drums, we have the bass, we have the entire instrument, we have the vocals. You could do anything. You can add this into a remix. You could, you know, chop it up and make your own sound, your own song. So what I would do for this, just for an example, I'm gonna take this other here. I'm gonna go to slice, hit this little button here, and adjust the timing of the, of the beginning. I'm gonna actually zoom in and kind of get really close to the very beginning. Good start, starting point, start chopping it up manually. Even though it's not perfect, you can use some of it, filter it out, EQ some of this stuff up, make something out of it. All right, so I'm gonna hit shift and mute to kind of just stop where I wanna stop uh, chopping it up. I'm gonna hit apply at the here at the top. I'm gonna choose a new group and then I'm gonna choose a new pad. I'm gonna choose pad one and hit okay. So now all those chops are now on each individual pad. And I'm going to adjust the sample and adjust the semitone up a few tones by uh, going to hitting the button that says tempo underneath it says tone as i press the the, the pad and adjust the semitone all right moving the, the cog wheel up so i just moved it up maybe three semitones all right i like that part of the song so i'm gonna hit keyboard i'm gonna go up eight semitones. Okay, to get that there to the bottom. And now I'm gonna start recording. Here I have a loop, let's listen to it. Cool things we can do here to kind of beef it up, to make it cool. Let's go to group. Let's go to just add a compressor just to kind of size it up, beef it up a little bit. Got a good Hertz. Both compressor. This is. Sounds better already. Just put it on there. We're just going to create a loop. I'm going to hit shift record on the machine and just start recording a loop. What's up, fam? If you find this video helpful 
and your machine user, I got your back. I created an entire masterclass called the Complete Guide to Machine Course. It's good for all machine users, whether you're using an MK2, 3, a Micro, a Machine Plus. I also just uploaded some new videos for the Machine 3.0 new software update. If you're currently enrolled, all the updates are free. You can access the course anytime as long as you want to. If you haven't enrolled yet, enroll this month. There's a special price only for the month of November. Hope to see you there. Peace. So what I want to do here is rename this as STEM, rename this as OG sample, and then rename this as instrument chop. Name it whatever you want to. So I'm going to go back to stems. I'm going to go to the vocals. And I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to go to slice. And I'm going to be able to, I want to kind of start the sample where her vocals start. So I'm going to kind of zoom in. And I'm going to choose the starting point and adjust it to where. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just kind of chop it up. Just do random stuff to add to the, to the, to this beat. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just touched down. Touched down. after. I know it's late. late. I'm calling you. Calling you. Trying to figure if I can see, see you. See you. All right. So I just chopped up her vocals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and then choosing completely new group. I'm going to hit group C and I'm going to choose pad one and then hit OK. So now I have her vocals chops on each individual pad as, as if it's on the keyboard. Yeah. So what I want to do here on the machine software is go to polyphony and choose number one because I don't want the the vocals to clash over each other. I want one of them to play, and then when I play the next, to, for it to stop. So, yeah. I want it to be in the same key as the sample that I was playing before, or the sample chop that I was playing before. So, I'm gonna go to the sample chop, confirm. I went up three semitones. So I'm gonna go back to the vocal. I'm also gonna name this group Leah Vocals. I'm gonna take her vocal. Well, three semitones. So it could match and sound good together. So if I That's how you use stem separation. It's so exciting.